Hello everyone, welcome back to Gent Watches, and today we are going to be watching One Piece. Um, not only are we watching One Piece today, we are doing what uh, I planned to do before and what people have obviously requested, which is putting more than one episode into a video. Now I know some people are like, you should do four or five episodes of video. I'll probably get there, I'll probably get to the point where I'm doing that, but this is the start of the series. Let's, let's enjoy it, and also, like, I... I kind of got to fit this stuff into my schedule, so I need to ease into it. If I do four e episodes in a video, that's 20, 40, 60, 80 minutes of recording it alone, just the episodes, and then it's probably going to be an extra, like, 10 to 15 minutes per episode for discussing the episode, just, like, to give myself some leeway there, and then the editing time and then the rendering time. Oh, my gosh. So it, that will be... Uh, off the chain. So let's start with two episodes and we'll see where we go from there. So the plan right now is I'm going to try to do two episodes of video. Sometimes I might still go back to one. Maybe I'll go up to three. Who knows? Um, but for now, let's, let's enjoy two. So today we're going to be starting with episode five. Um, and then we'll be moving on to episode six. If you want to watch episode seven, maybe even episode seven and eight right now, straight after you finish this video, you can probably do that by going to my Patreon account in the description below. Um, and you can join my Patreon and watch full length reactions to those right now as you're watching this video. Um, unless you're watching this on Patreon, in which case, I'm sorry, you, there's no more. <laughs> you're caught up, but thank you very much for supporting me if you are. Um, anyway, we are watching One Piece. This is episode 5. I am really keen for this, um, and I'm really keen to watch two episodes, because I do feel like sometimes after I've watched an episode, I'm like, oh man, I'm not going to be watching this for a few days now, and I'm going to be, you know, missing it. So this is going to be nice to be able to watch two episodes in one sitting. I literally not going to move, leave my chair if I can help it. Um... Last episode, we saw Luffy's backstory a little bit. We saw how he learned from Shanks, and Shanks lost his arm because of Luffy. Um, and just a, a lot of cool little backstory there. Um, and so I think this episode, we're probably going to move ahead in the actual storyline and maybe meet um, uh, Buggy, the, the immortal Buggy, I believe he's called. Um, and we're going to see how, what kind of villain, assuming it's a villain, uh, that character is. I'm assuming it's not going to be a friend, because I haven't heard the name Buggy before, so I feel like, I feel like I'm going to know, you know, like, you know, whenever they come across, um, you know, Brooks and Robin and, um, uh, there are some other major, major characters that I can't think of off the top of my head now, but when they come across those characters, I'm going to know, like, oh, I know they become part of Luffy's crew. Um, but a character named Buggy that I've never heard of, that's got to be a villain. <laughs> he's probably going to be evil. Let's see if he's, like, cartoonishly evil, like some of these villains have been, or if he's, like, you know, a little subtler in his evality. That's not a word. I know because I studied English in university. I studied it long enough to know that evality is not a word. So let's uh, just get into episode five of One Piece. Um, I hope you guys will enjoy this. Please make sure to like, comment down below and subscribe. And again, my Patreon, if you want to support me, if you want to support these videos and honestly make them come out b easier, better, more frequently, m gave me the resources to fit more videos into an... Uh, into uh, more episodes into a video support me on patreon. That's the best way to do it. Anyway, let's get into episode 5 of one piece da -da 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 -da. Do -do -do. Oh, that's right. Okay. He fell from the sky Nami. Yep. I remember I'm caught up Oh, uh, take on the thing Don't look. I know people said it's like not really these early episodes that have the spoilers It's later ones, but I don't care Boss, play along. <laughs> you can handle them, Luffy. Not the hat. Oh. Man, Nama, you were okay with this random dude getting killed because of you? Alright, she is. Definitely not a good guy. <laughs> okay. So you're not a pirate, you're a thief who steals from pirate. Okay, they're finally interacting. This is great. Here's Buggy. 
小屋の鍵がつけっぱなしで<笑>なんだと<笑>ですからつけっぱなしで<笑>赤っ鼻ででかいね Oh my god dude Oh oh we're gonna see it Is it telekinesis? Seems like it. Oh my gosh, his voice acting. So odd. <laughs> One bite. <laughs> Okay, so you think it's somewhat noble because you steal for, from pirates. A hundred million berries, okay. Ooh, she's a navigator, cool. <laughs> Your dad pirate into it. Here we go, here's the... <laughs> Money and tantrums. Here's the uh, the thing that I thought was going to happen with Zoro. I thought he would hate pirates, but he didn't. She's playing you. <laughs> you can probably get out of those ropes. Oh my gosh. The voice acting. I hate this character. <laughs> oh my god! I hate the, the quality of his voice. That squeakiness. It's surely not the real. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> we need Zoro. Nami des. <laughs> that dude's mouth stretched all the way around like six tubs of beer. Okay. So his body does. It's it's rubber. It's not just like, you know, Mr. Fantastic stretchy powers. It actually like puts more and more tension the more he pulls it. Are you just destroying houses? Is that what's gonna happen? Oh my god! Is that what's gonna happen? He's just gonna destroy houses. Oh my god! Like an entire part of the neighborhood. Okay, good. Zora's nearby. That's good to see. Oh my god! What's wrong with you? That's just evil for no reason. <laughs> Oh no. Oh. That's not good. She's gonna have this. Uh. She's gonna have to do it to him. That's cool voice acting. <laughs> I like the way he changed that. Hey, you got, you got you guys into this. This was your plan. Are we gonna get a Nami wanted poster? Nope, Zoro again. Oh, I mean, if he's rubber, can he bounce this back? Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Hey. All right, nice. 
<laughs> Just say he was gonna take my spotlight. Like, I was gonna kill him. Why did this guy get to do it? Okay. Okay, pirates killed someone. Oh! Oh, did she just lose her stick? Well, she used it to hold them off, I guess. How's she gonna put it out? Just with her hands? Ah! Ow! Oh, that is some resolve. Ugh. Ow! Oh my god! Zoro? Was that Zoro? Zoro? I saw his color. Yeah, boy! <laughs> Does everyone know who he is? The pirate hunter? Yeah. I don't even know who you are. His voice! <laughs> Three sword style. Beyblade time. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's got a bunch of swords too. Oh! What? Oh my god. Well, okay. Is he not dead then? Because... Yeah, I don't think he's dead. Now I definitely don't think he's dead. Is this something to do with the devil's fruit? Oh wait, he's called Buggy the Immortal, isn't he? Oh! Oh, Zoro. Oh my god. Chop chop fruit. Can't be cut. Okay. <laughs> oh, uh oh. Here he goes. Oh! <laughs> hey, let him out. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Oh, this is cool. Okay. He doesn't care, he's just distracting. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Light it quick. Surely they have plenty of time to get away though. But, you know, it's anime. Maybe they don't have time. That's a cliffhanger? Oh, that's cruel. That's cruel. Well, I'm watching two episodes in this video, so at least I'll see the results of it. Okay, so that was the first of two episodes that I'm watching today, episode five. Um, so I'll do a quick discussion on it and then we'll get to episode six. Um, or more realistically, I'll pause the recording, get some more water and stuff, and then I'll do episode six. Um, so, uh, bu 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 Buggy, this was an episode mostly about Buggy and Nami, we got to f figure out more about Nami, I've been excited because Nami, um, has been my favourite character from when I didn't watch One Piece, you know, like, without knowing anything about One Piece, I always liked Nami, just by her design and the way that I presumed she acted, she acts basically the same way that I expect her to act, um, and, and I like it, I like, I like her personality, um, and yeah, as I said, this is sort of what I expected the Zoro storyline to be. I thought when they met Zoro, or when Luffy met Zoro, what was going to happen was he would 
Zoro would be super anti-pirate. He was a pirate hunter, and he would be like, there's no way I'm ever working for a pirate or whatever. And then Luffy would have to convince him. But what we found out was Zoro actually cares about the swordsmanship side of it. And so Luffy was just like, hey, you can come, you know, be a pirate with me. And then you can work on your swordsmanship and stuff. And you can fight other pirates then. So, um, so that all worked out fine. But now we're coming across an army who actually hates pirates. And, um, and isn't a pirate. She steals from them because she sees that it's, um, that, that, uh, you know, that's, th those are the people to steal from if there's anyone, you know? I, like, I'm, I imagine she, I, I don't think she's got, like, heavy moral, um, heavy moral standings, but she thinks she has a better code of conduct than she does. Like, that's, that feels like the vibe I get from her, where, like, she she justifies her own actions behind a lot of stuff. So it's like, yeah, I'm stealing, but I'm stealing from pirates, so it's okay. And like, yeah, that I left that guy to die, uh, like when she, he left um, Luffy to those people and stuff. Like I I left that guy to die, but I was doing it to save like myself that I had no other option. Or the guy I left to die is a pirate, so it doesn't matter or whatever. Like you know. Um, Except she didn't know he was a pirate at that time, so that that excuse doesn't really hold up. But I just feel like like she she has a conscience clearly because she does think that pirates are horrible people, um, and you know she's got a personal reason for that, which we don't know yet, other than that, that they killed someone she loved. But um, she thinks the pirates are horrible, um, and she uh, she seems to like when they were like, oh, kill kill this guy, like, kill Luffy. She didn't want to do it, even though Luffy is a pirate, she knows Luffy's a pirate, and she doesn't really know him too well other than meeting him just today. Um, but she still didn't want to do it, uh, because she had her own little sets of morals to to keep to. So I, I, I think it's, it's interesting, because she's not... Uh, she's not like the most moral character ever because she, again, she still left Luffy to die to random pirates. Um, and she like, you know, has been a thief this entire time, but she still, you know, has a code of conduct. So I'm interested to see, I mean, I, we're already seeing her kind of turn around. I think she's just seeing that Luffy is like, he's a pirate, but he's still like a genuine guy, you know? Um... And, I mean, yeah, how much does Luffy... How much piracy does Luffy practice? I need to think about this properly. Like, if I've seen him do that much piracy. Not really. And, I mean, the thing about this series is most of the piracy will be stealing from other pirates, I imagine. <laughs> so it's like... And then, you know, obviously the thing that they're all going for, the One Piece, the actual big treasure, that's a treasure that the guy who owns all that treasure was like, take it. <laughs> like whoever wants to come and get it come and get it so yeah i i think um so i yeah i think at least with that uh with that in mind like it's it's not too hard to root for these pirates because they're not they're not disrupting the lives of non-pirates generally you know um but you know it's not like luffy is the paragon of virtue he He's just doing what he wants to do. It just happens that what he wants to do is is not too disruptive to other people. Um, okay. Well, I don't. I mean, there's a lot of stuff there that I could talk about, and if I wasn't doing another episode, I would. Um, but it wouldn't be a very interesting discussion. Looking at my notes there, there's, I would just be recapping stuff that happened in the episode. So instead, I'm just going to go on to One Piece episode six. So let's just go straight on to that right about now. Here we go. We are Okay, this is all all recapping stuff. This is gonna be a warm-up for I know later in the series there's a lot of of recap uh recap bits and stuff, so you know, I just gotta be understanding of this. Okay, here we go. Are they all dead? That'd be cool if the cliffhanger was just, just right before they all died. Whoa! How cool! <laughs> oh! 
Now that's a man. Oh, and that's the title that I'm not going to look at. Ba 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 Oh, it's back. Having to reassess your thoughts on what pirates are. Moji? Oh no! His face is so long. <laughs> ah. Ah. Oh. Zoro's dead. Oh well. He was a good character for a while. <laughs> Can you navigate us back to our lives? Oh, great. No! Oh my god, we need to rip this dog open. <laughs> oh, he's treating him like Bart Simpson. You quit, quit strangling my dog, bro. Oh no, it's a maze dog. You're gonna sleep off your open knife wound, are you? I'd be careful. Aww. Oh, this is like Jurassic Park in Futurama. Oh. That's so sad. I almost feel bad for strangling the dog and saying that I want to rip him apart. Aww. Poor pup. <laughs> I'm finished, old man. Okay, here comes Moji, possibly. Beast Tamer Moji, here we go. <laughs> So that's the beast, I'm assuming, and this is the tamer. That's his hair? He's gone. Nice! Okay, good. We don't need the key anymore. I was worried we'd have to stick our hands down his throat. Oh, what if the dog ate a, uh, <laughs> a devil's fruit? That doesn't really sound like a dog bark. That sounds like a woman doing a dog's bark. <laughs> Oh! Oh! <laughs> Aww. Yeah! This is the sort of shonen battles I need. Small dog versus big lion. Ha 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 ha! Aww. Aww. Oh my god! Mm. Oh. oh! Whoa! Here we go, we're seeing some of his moves. Whoa. Wow. That's pretty cool. Okay, he twirls up his hands like that, and then I guess just the momentum of it swinging back. Aww. <laughs> Fighting for a good reason. Oh. 
Oh! <laughs> Not getting off that easy from hurting this dog's everything. <laughs> he damn sure did. Oh, this is like a xylophone. I don't know if it's xylophone, but you know, a kid's version of the of the OP. Da, 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 da. Can you understand, dog? Or are you just presuming? <laughs> Because when one of my dogs barks like that, it means there's something new in the house and I don't like it. <laughs> the voice! <laughs> okay, so he didn't hear him say he's eating the gum gum fruit. He only got gummu out. Oh, is this happening now? Oh no! All right. Oh, this guy's got to go down. Oh, yeah, that's right. He was also injured. Whoa. It just all collapsed around him. <laughs> he's, yeah, he's got to risk his life, like Luffy said. No way he takes down Buggy, though. Aw, <laughs> oh, good. Okay. Boodle. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> now he's not in the cage anymore. Very nice. I'm keen for that. Okay, all right. That was the second of two pretty solid episodes. And I mean, there was still a cliffhanger at the end there. So um, there's going to be at least a third episode with the, the, the buggy arc. <laughs> I don't know if... Uh, I don't know how how long they're planning to do this but it feels like next episode is going to be the fight with buggy and ending that whole series of events i'm guessing you know like i feel like this show i think this show is one where like we'll start with a bunch of very small arcs and they're going to slowly extend over time until the arcs will just go for ages and ages and ages it's like um it's like hunter hunter you know like hunter hunter had a pretty short arc to start with um, and then went to like an even shorter arc and then a bigger one and then a quite big one and then like a pretty big one and then a then a massive one to end it that was like half the show. Um, oh, and then like a very small one at the end. But um, but it's yeah, like the, you know, the, the it would vary in size, but generally like over time the arcs would just get bigger and bigger and more grand. Um, and so, yeah, I, I imagine. And I mean, that, that makes sense, right? Like in these early things, you're... If you, if you dedicate yourself too much to an arc, people might just get bored of it um, and stop watching because they don't have the attachment to the characters yet. So instead, it's like mini, little mini arcs to get you introduced to all the main characters and, and figure out what you like about them and stuff. So, yeah, makes sense. Um, yeah, pretty good episodes. I enjoyed them. Um, I, I, this, the buggy is a pretty, pretty decent little, um little villain. I, I don't find him as interesting as um, Captain Morgan. I think Captain Morgan was uh, just... I, I don't know why. I, I think I just really liked Captain Morgan's design. And um, and then Captain Buggy is just like a, you know, weird clown pirate guy. I do think it's a very interesting choice. His, his voice acting... The voice acting choice of having it be like really goofy sounding and then like you know dip really heavy into evil and then like go super crazy and like um go like all the way up and down i think it's a it's a very strong choice and it does make for some good characterization not pleasant to listen to really <laughs> um which i i suppose is the intention um i yeah i i I don't know. I think it's. I think it's a. It's a very good character choice, and I. I don't blame them for making it. 
Um, but it does make me like dislike the character more and not in like a dislike like I want him to be beaten by the main character way but in a dislike like I don't I I just don't want to watch him in the episodes kind of way um, but uh, but still you know pretty solid I think also like I mean this this show I do like the cast the voice acting cast of the show um, they they all serve their purpose pretty well I think the person doing Luffy um, is doing a great job. In fact, all the main characters are great. Zoro is great and Nami is great. Um, they're all doing a really good job. The side, most of the side characters are just like serviceable, pretty good uh, in the voice acting department. Um, but you know, it's very early days and this was the 90s. So, uh, you know, you, you gotta give a little bit of leeway for that um, as well. Like modern anime's voice acting has a different distinct style than uh, old day, the old days of anime's voice acting. Um, but but yeah, like I, I also say this um, because like I don't know, I've said this many times on this channel before, but a lot of you may not be, you may be pretty new to this channel and may not have heard me say this before, but with pretty much every show I watch, if there is a dub and a sub available, I will watch one and then I will re-watch the show in the other. Um, and sometimes they'll do that like while I'm still watching it and sometimes I'll wait till I'm finished and then rewatch the entire thing in the other version. It's just what I like to do. I like dubs and subs a lot. Um, and so generally before I show I think about if I want to do a dub or a sub. The reason I did sub for this is because this was a very highly requested series and I know most of the people on this channel would prefer me to watch uh, the sub version. Um, and so since it is so highly requested I wanted people to get it in the experience that they wanted to experience it in um, for this show specifically because it's you know such a massive show. With that being said, I have rewatched um, like most of these episodes that I've seen on video um, in dub, um, and I do I do really like the dub, and I do maybe even prefer the dub just generally from my for my taste. You know, I find it more enjoyable to watch the dub. Um, and so yeah, it's kind of sad that I'm not experiencing it in, in that first and then being able to rewatch the sub um, Because of you know this the the way that these episodes voice, but it's 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 not a big deal It's not the neither uh, Neither really make any major mistakes or anything and as I said great character choice for uh, For the voice actor the voice actor did absolutely everything right um, it's just the, it's that ac absolutely just the character himself and the the way that that choice translates to the character that I'm like I can't can't be bothered um, anyway doesn't matter doesn't matter doesn't matter um so the uh, I want to talk about the the dog I mean that was a major part of the this episode um, uh, Cho Cho I think the dog's name was um, yeah it, it very much like Jurassic Bark in Futurama if you've seen Futurama I mean, maybe Futurama, the Futurama writers were a big fan of One Piece and they liked this this bit because this is very similar to something that happened in Jurassic Park, but um, but it, it was uh, yeah pretty pretty well executed and I and I like it. I mean, it's it's kind of the thing that you'd expect the this show to do is like they're trying to get you attached to the main characters and so they're trying to show like oh he's a pirate but he's a good guy, and so they're showing it like mostly through how he's being a good guy to to characters that we can easily be on the side of so it's like a wimp in kobe um who is like mistreated by people and wants to be part of the navy it's like that's like all admirable traits i mean except being a wimp i guess but you can you know like watching him get over that is what's exciting about that so like oh if luffy's on this guy's side maybe he's a good guy and then there was like a little girl you know who got her rice balls stomped on or whatever um and it's like well obviously you know whoever's on this girl's side is the good guy and whoever's against this girl is the bad guy. And now it's a dog. I mean, like even though the dog was a little shit, it's like, it's still a dog, you know? Um, you know, I like I'm, I'm joking about tearing this dog to pieces and stuff, but we all have a base level, or most of us have a base level empathy for a dog that uh, that is a bit higher than the base level empathy we have for humans generally. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, if this if this pure dog is just waiting for his owner and all he wants to do is sit outside his owner's shop and you, they just destroy the shop for no good reason, then yeah, no, awful. So uh, so that was that was pretty solid. Um, and we got to see a new move from Luffy, his uh, gum gum hammer, 
where he just like twists his arms around and stretches and grabs someone and then I assume he just releases the tension that's the main thing so it all spins back around and the it'll you know it's like when you uh when you twist a swing set all the way around and around and around and around and then let go and it like swings rapidly in the other direction like it's that that principle um but uh with his arms with his stretchy arms um, so yeah, I think that's that's pretty cool, and I'm kind of excited to see the range of moves because I'm I imagine you know he's naming these moves, so I imagine he comes back to all of them, and and he's just like okay, so now I'm using gum gum hammer, now I'm using gum gum pistol or whatever, um, and so we'll just be like you know yeah it's that move again, <laughs> um, but I'm excited to see his sort of range of moves and. And I think, I, I can imagine it would be exciting whenever he would, like, bust out a new move, you know? If it's, like, episode 380 or whatever. And then suddenly Luffy steps up to the plate and goes, like, gum, gum, tornado. And then you're like, whoa, I didn't know he could do this. Like, I can imagine that's, that's going to be pretty hype. Um, and now, I mean, Nami still is saying, like... Look, I'm never going to be a pirate, but we can work together towards a common goal. I wonder if that's her thing. Like, her character's thing is that she's just, like... I'm not a pirate. I'm I'm hanging out with you. I'm navigating for you. Uh, you're gonna help me get the money that I want or whatever. But I'm not a pirate. That that actually feels like that is realistically going to be how, how they're gonna approach her character for the entire show, probably. And it gives them like an easy, um, like uh, what's it called, reoccurring joke to go with. You know, whenever they they're talking to people and they're like blah 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 blah, and it's like oh look at these. The pirates right here and then Nama can go I'm not a pirate you know easy very very easy joke to write in there but it's also not a, a joke that would get too annoying it would just be kind of endearing I imagine I don't know if that's what they're gonna do I'm just I'm predicting just based on what I'm seeing in these episodes I have absolutely no idea <laughs> Um, but anyway, that was episode 6 of One Piece. So, this was the first time I'm watching episodes, two episodes, uh, of One Piece in a video. It's not like I haven't done two episodes in a video of stuff before. I did that for, um, for the MHA OVAs, and, uh, and I did that for Classroom of the Elite as well. But that's because one of them was a fan service episode, like a weird filler fan service episode, and I wanted to do two. But, um... Yeah, anyway, that was it. So um, if you enjoyed this format of the video, please make sure to let me know. Um, I apologize if, uh, you know, if any of my <laughs> if any of my comments, like I know sometimes if I'll comment on, on stuff that uh, may sound negative, it may imply that I wasn't enjoying what I was seeing. If there's something to know about me, generally, as a person watching media I'm pretty easily impressed um and I also like enjoy most of the things I watch um that's also because I I look into stuff a little bit before I watch it uh to try to not watch the stuff I don't think I'll enjoy but uh also because I I let myself enjoy it I sort of you know anything that I don't like about something fades away doesn't matter so I'm not gonna get caught up on anything that I find to be like iffy or whatever and a lot of the stuff I grow to like anyway you have to remember this is a show that originally when I watched it when I was a kid I didn't like it so it makes sense that first impressions of this show generally are like they're still in my child mindset of of uh of yeah I I'm uh, losing my train of thought because it is it is midnight right now <laughs> um, But yeah, I'm still in that in in my child mindset of like this is these are my first impressions of the show and they're sticking around um, So yeah, I still have to adjust a lot to the show But with that being said, I'm still really really enjoying it like way more than I thought I would in these early episodes I thought it would take maybe like 20 20 or 30 episodes for me to start getting attached to especially Luffy. I didn't think I would like him for a while I liked him episode one and I love Zoro and I love Nami. So I'm in this for the long haul 
So uh, let's do it. I can't wait for the long haul of this show. And if you can't wait for the long haul, you want to watch the next episodes right now and you're watching it on YouTube, go to my Patreon account. You can watch the next probably two episodes on Patreon right now if you just go over there and uh, support the channel. So please make sure to do that and also like, comment and subscribe to the channel. Um, it really, really helps me out. Even if you don't think it does, even if you, you know, generally can't be bothered doing that sort of stuff with videos, I get it. I can't sometimes either, but it really does help the channel. So please make sure to like, comment and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Goodbye.